guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dom and I have a 2004 Nissan 350Z. This week we're doing another install. We're gonna be installing a Mishimoto radiator fan. Since I'm not dailying this car anymore and I don't have to make super long drives, I'm gonna throw this radiator fan back in because I love the way it looks and I love the way it sounds. It sounds like an airplane or a jet taking off, which is really cool. Some people might not like it, but I definitely do like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. This is what the fan looks like. It's really slim, very lightweight and definitely will give you a lot more room to work around in your car once you take out the OEM fan. If any of you guys are interested in these Mishimoto fans, just know that the OEM fan does a really great job about cooling these engines and I would actually recommend using the OEM fan over the Mishimoto fan if you are using your car every day. Again, I just like the look of this fan and I think it looks really nice and clean in the engine, which is why I'm putting it back in. So it's a pretty easy install. I'll go over everything real quick, just how to install it, and then we'll dive into it. Okay, so here's the OEM fan. As you can see, it takes up a huge chunk in this front space of your engine bay. These radiator fans are gonna be super slim and look a lot nicer and cleaner than having this big chunk of massive plastic. First, all we have to do is take off your cover if you do have one. Then you'll just take out this tube and then there's a couple different bolts. There's a 10 millimeter bolt on the left side and then a 10 millimeter bolt on the right side that's behind that heat shield over there and a couple wiring harness clips that are in there. The last thing that's super important and key to getting this thing out easily is taking off this radiator hose right here. It will introduce air into your system, but if you bleed your radiator properly, then you won't have any issues at all. For me, this heat shield's in the way, so I will have to remove it along with this air intake. I'll have to take that off just to get a little bit more space around this corner. Okay, now I got the intake off along with the heat shield that was there. So next, I'm just gonna jack up the Z and remove the radiator hose. I already put my drip pan down there along with grabbing some extra paper towels for when all of this spills out. There's not a ton, but it's definitely worth it to have some of that stuff ready. Okay, then there's two clips, one on the left side for the left fan, and then one on the right side for the right fan. And you'll still reuse both OEM clips for the Mishimoto fan. Okay, now everything's loose. You can also remove this radiator hose that leads from the radiator to the coolant overflow along with the actual coolant overflow too. It's just one 10 millimeter bolt and it comes straight out. There is one more clip down here that I did forget about. It's pretty easy if you do jack up your car. If you can't jack up your car, it might be a little difficult to get to. But make sure undo that first before you pull the fan out. Now this fan should come straight out. Just pull it up. Make sure you avoid any of these hard lines that are over here, just so you don't bend or break anything. Then there's two wires that are OEM, and from the factory harness you can tell which one's shorter and which one's longer, for which one's going to be on the left side and which one's going to be on the right side. Now that the fans are in, I'm going to put back the coolant reservoir, take out these paper towels, and put this hose back in. All right, the next step is to put back everything, put the intake back on, put the filter back on, put the heat shield on, and then bolt down the radiator fans. Then we'll move on to bleeding the coolant.
So the camera actually died while I was putting everything back together, but now we're gonna move on to blading the system. All we have to do is fill it up with enough coolant to make sure that it comes out of the bleeder screw that's back here. You can use a Phillips screwdriver to open this up and then you wanna make sure that it overflows out of this spot before we even turn the car on. Actually, a regular flathead tends to work pretty well too, so that's just what I'm gonna use. And then this is also the funnel that I'm gonna to use to attach to the radiator, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. There's a bunch of different attachments in here. They'll most likely come with the specific attachment that works for your car. Each one's gonna be a little bit different. Like I said, I'll make sure to link Anthony J's YouTube video that I got all of this information from. He's a great YouTuber. He explains things really well and in depth and makes sense out of things that probably shouldn't make sense. So I'll make sure to put that link to the video in the description below. That way you can follow along with his video instead of just using my quick tutorial on how to do this. Now the bleeder screw's back on, I'm just gonna fill this up to about a third of the way. Then you're gonna go inside the car, turn the heat to full blast, start it, and let it warm up. You'll see that this is gonna be bubbling a lot. That's just air that's in the system that's being pushed out of the system, which is exactly what you want. But when you do this, you will have to hold it at 2,500 RPMs for about 10 seconds and then let go. You just gotta do that every couple minutes or so. Let it cool down, come back within the next half hour and do it all over again. So this stopped blowing out bubbles, so I'm gonna assume that it's bled all the way and there's no more air in the system. Here's what the new fans look like. They save a lot of room from right here. It's really hot, <laughs> which is why well, I'm not sticking my hand all the way down there. But they save a lot of room in between these two spaces. I just looked on Mishimoto's website and they do sell them in a black and orange finish if that's what you're into. I got the brushed silver because that's all they had when they bought them, but I still like the way that these look. I think it looks really clean on my interior, especially with the intake there on the right side being brushed silver as well. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. I'm gonna leave it just like this overnight just so I can bleed it one more time tomorrow to make sure that all of the air is out of the system, but otherwise everything's buttoned up and good to go. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. Also comment down below what kind of fans you have in your Z or if you've used these Mishimoto fans before. I'm also looking into getting a new Mishimoto radiator, which I'll probably do since they are a partial sponsorship to this channel. So I'm super hyped and super excited about that. Also come back next week for another 350Z or a Jeep video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.